Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today we're going to be looking at the truck. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Don't mind my extreme close up. So, got some things to discuss with it. First and foremost, if you have a fourth gen RAM, I will tell you right now, you need this. Yep, a tailgate. No, 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 no. You need this. Aha, look at that, ready? If you own a fourth gen RAM, go on Amazon and look at the DEE, ZEE, -E, some of you have heard already, DZ brand tailgate assist. It's very simple. There's a little threaded nut that goes in here. And then this threads on the end of it, clips on here. You take this bolt out, take this cable off, this mounts right there, and that goes on there. It's as simple as that. And then, no more slamming tailgates, because y'all know how light these are. And then when you open them, they just go bang. But nope, this is, this is a necessity. I'm telling you right now, gotta have it. Ooh, look at my new tires. Check them out, look at these things. I finally got new tires, I got some Falcon, that was Wild Peak AT 3Ws. They were not cheap, but man, these things are nice. 35s, they just, just barely fit. Full turn, I'm almost rubbing, I got like a half an inch. Through bumps, it rubs once in a while. <laughs> but not, it's all good. So today we're gonna to talk about a few things under the hood. But first, a disclaimer. Entertainment purposes only. You guys know what I'm talking about. We might have to take a trip to uh, not the US. We're, we're going to Mexico in the next few weeks, okay? Just take it as you will, because I can't say you know what I'm saying. And we've got some things under the hood to do here. Not gonna say it. Oh, that one's legal. <laughs> That's all I'll say, okay? But, we're also gonna do the head breather back up here. So that way it's not dumping all the crap back into the turbo intake. And that just, how about that? <laughs> This we're still on the fence about putting the other intake tube that deletes this valve because mine is already disconnected as I bought it. Entertainment purposes. Don't mind my weird fingers. <laughs> I don't know, that was weird. But I do have to ask your opinion on some other things. I live in Pennsylvania. It gets cold in winter. 20 degrees. Leave in the comments below what you think about the intake heater. Delete or not delete? The coldest this truck ever sees is maybe 10. 10 degrees Fahrenheit that is if you're out of the country. What's your guys opinion on the intake heater delete? Yay or nay? Drop it in the comments below if you think I should or not and why. And this, yeah, soon. But can't say it because we're going to Mexico and parts might fall off because you know how loose the bolts are and this so that's that's my little update and questionnaire for the truck for you guys today is um, primarily the intake he heater delete and if this is disconnected should I really replace it I'm on the fence right now but that breather yes the other thing <laughs> you know what it is so and yes mirrors down <laughs> and on top of that still undecided no badge or badge this one stays that's like an extra 50 horse each you guys know what's up <laughs> so that that's my uh, little video for today I know it's not much and if any of you are interested let me know about this this is my, well not mine, it was my grandfather's, but I do all the work to it. 
my 69 Jeepster Commando. I've done some work to. Disc brake conversion, redid all the rear brakes, long tube headers with a side exhaust. I don't know if you can see it under there or not. <laughs> and this happened yesterday. I don't know if you can see that, but. Yeah, the spark plug said see ya. So if you guys want to see more on this one, let me know. There's plenty more cars around here I could film that I'm working on, but I don't know if you guys are going to be interested. Everyone seems to like the truck and the Subaru, which yes, is gone now, and the jet ski. Thank you. By the way, thank you so much. The jet ski videos have been doing phenomenal. We've managed from February to now to gain, I think it's 25,000 views on my jet ski review. I'll pull it up for you. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. 24,912 views as of right now. Thanks guys. Like, seriously, like, this is awesome. I'm so happy. So happy about that. I want to I want to keep doing them, but it's hard because I live in PA and my jet ski stays up in New York and I go on the weekends, but I'm always just like, oh, I want to ride. I don't want to record, but I need to, you have to get in the habit of having this with you. Sorry, I broke the fourth wall, but. So, that's my update. What we're doing in the truck next. If you guys want to see this butte here, and there's plenty of other things I can record that I'm working on. 55 case. There's plenty of things I'm working on. Mini bike with a big motor. It's it's a work in progress. Yeah. <laughs> so seriously, drop down in the comments below. Like, you want to see more or not? So, all right, everybody, have a good one. Remember to follow me on Instagram at s c h a f f e r underscore nine two. That's Schaefer underscore ninety two. Make sure you spell it right. So, thanks everybody. Have a good one.